Hello and welcome to Draw With Me, artist Leslie Watson and today we are going to be drawing Baby Groot. Now this is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 where he's still in Wee Plant Pot right at the end. Great movie if, if you haven't seen it. So by all means draw along with me. Now don't forget that you know I'm on all the social medias as well, you know hit me up, Twitter and whatnot. And yeah, so just before we get into this, I would like to say a big thank you to Connor. Yes, this video is mainly for you since you suggested it. And don't forget to get your dad, Alan, to draw along with you. So enjoy. So today I'm actually going to start off with the plant pot because, well, you know, roots a tree, so you have to start with the roots, you know. So yeah, so you make it kind of be, it's almost like a wee cup shape. And then you start working on Groot's body. Now Groot's body is generally just a lot of like vines going up. Now this is the GV version, so again, it's more of a simplistic kind of stuff that I would usually do. But still, it's really fun, you know. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of moving on to the head. Now, the head, it's almost like it's almost like a big glass shape, so it is. And then, whenever you're just doing the top of the head, you kind of do more of a, you know, a zigzaggy kind of spiked kind of rectangles and everything, and then just go over them and uh, basically where the moss would be. Now you've, you can kind of notice I've already put in the wee leaves and stuff as details. Now, for the eyes, uh, I'm sorry I didn't put guidelines into this one, uh, but they are just two wee circles. Uh, kind of spread evenly about. Now, I kind of made them come in the wee points as well. So even if you were to draw a line between the two points, they should match. Now you can also see I'm putting in other wee details there as well, or the wood barks and stuff like that. And then just the wee smile, which is just a simple wee smile line. And then two wee bits at the sides just to show like cheeks. Now you can kind of see here I'm just putting in a couple of wee details and then moving on to the arms. The arms were quite simple, you know, it's just kind of tree branch kind of arms but yeah and then just doing a couple of other details there as well now I kind of smoothed around Grit's face if you want to keep him wide that's fine this is a GB John and then I come in with the inks and just go over the lines quite simply So this is basically just me inking in all the lines I've done already, which, you know, always brings it that much kind of, you know, into focus. Inking for me is always the fun part. It's always when you can start to see whenever the pictures really coming together. Now you can probably already see as well that I put like a wee bit of moss in there. You know, because well, at this point was rooted, so and then yeah, we just started rubbing out a wee few wee details there, and then you just put two wee circles into the eyes, just for like uh, the kind of glare off them. And then just blacken the eyes, because Groot has those, you know, them big black eyes. 
because he was the, he was always the cute one until Baby Yoda came along anyway. Then I put some extra details in there before I started rubbing out. Now with the kind of the top of the head, I deliberately kind of put in a couple of wee marks there, just so then I could mark out where I'm going to put kind of the top of Groot's hair, which is it's almost like moss. And then I start coloring in. Now you can color Groot whatever way you want. Call him some wacky colors. You want to do him rainbow colors throughout the lines? Go ahead. I just stuck with the traditional brown and green for Groot because, well, keep it nice and traditional. So yeah, the kind of chibi style and anime and you know kind of comic book style was the way that I kind of learned how to draw and always kind of drew like superheroes and things like that whenever I was growing up and whenever I've really found a you know a real place you know with my artwork you know that's whenever I progressed and that's probably why I put on so much like so video games and you know cartoon stuff on my beginner stuff because that's how I learn Now you can see here I, I actually brought in a pencil to go over to give it a wee bit more extra detail and stuff like that. Uh, this is always a very good way of, you know, adding details, you know, just even just that little kind of shadow around the face and stuff to give it a wee bit of a, an extra nice wee finish. So as you can see, I'm kind of doing a lighter grey for the plant pot than from inside the plant pot. That just gives your drawing a wee bit more depth. And then don't forget to sign your work. Yeah, so there we go. I hope you really enjoyed this today. Uh, big, again, big thank you to Alan and Connor for suggesting this. So yeah. If you've been drawing along, don't forget to hit me up on social medias. Uh, show me what you've done so far. Uh, and yeah, more importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this with everyone you know. Thanks and have a great night.